Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you three common mixer brush tool mistakes and how you can easily go about them or how to avoid them when you're using frequency separation in Photoshop. So, this is for those of you that tend to ask me why your mixer brush tool may not be working the way you want it to work and the way you can use it to retouch and get the best out of the images in Photoshop every single time you're retouching using frequency separation. This is the tutorial for you. So, I request that you hit the like button on this, on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to many people out there. So if I told you hit the like button, it helps the video perform better and this video is going to also be suggested to many people out there. So this is the image that we're going to be using for purposes of demonstration in this tutorial. And you can see that I'm just going to come and I play my frequency passion action. So the very first thing that you have to take into consideration is using the right Gaussian blur radius for your image in order to retain textures later on as you're using the mixer brush tool. So I'm just going to come and I play my 16-bit frequency separation action right here. So I'm just going to simply click and the action is going to run. So like I said, you always have to choose the right amount of textures. So you have to move the radius slider up to a point when you're just starting to lose out on the skin textures in the image. So I'm just going to take the radius slider up, up, up to point when I'm just starting to close out on the textures in this very image. So at around 7 that is when I'm just starting to close out on the details. So your radius may be different from mine. So I'm just going to hit OK. And if at all you're interested in my actions, you can purchase or buy them by using the links in the description of this very video. So right now the action is going to create for me all those layers for frequency separation. And I'm going to go straight into the missile brush tool and those mistakes that you may encounter when you're trying to use the missile brush tool. So I'm just going to delete the black and white layer for purposes of being really transparent. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come to the brushes and right click and get the missile brush tool. Then if at all you're having an older version of Photoshop, you may find your missile brush tool around here. So set up the missile brush tool. The settings I prefer hardness at zero. I prefer a clean brush and I prefer the option that says Clean the brush after each and every stroke selected. The weight of 9%, the load of 75%, the mix at 90, and the flow of 100%. So, this is the very first mistake most of you people tend to do when it comes to using the mixer brush tool. So, you tend to first of all retouch on a, a wrong layer. Remember, when you're using the mixer brush tool, we usually want to blend or have a smooth transition within the skin so always make sure that you are retouching on the right layer so you can see that by default mine is on the high frequency so every single time i try retouching the image you can see it is going to make the high frequency layer lose out on the textures or the details within that area that i've just brushed on let me just zoom in and i show you uh what i'm trying to mean by this so you can see that this area has lost out on the textures in this specific area. The reason for that is because the brush with the wetness has tried to wet the textures in the high frequency layer and it has made the textures get lost from that area. That is why you can see that we have been able to lose out on the textures in that kind of area. So I'm just going to come and I'm going to simply come to my history and undo this. So what I'm going to do basically, I'm going to show you the layer that you have to work on when you're trying to retouch. So the right way to retouch is you select the low frequency layer. So always make sure that you are retouching with the low frequency layer selected and not the high frequency layer. So also the other mistake that I tend to see people do when they're using a Mr. Brush tool is after setting up the brush tool, they forget and leave this option that says sample all layers checked so some people tend to leave this option turned on so when you turn this option on it means that your brush is going to be having the freedom of also carrying information from the texture layer and painting them into the colors of the image you can see this option says sample all layers, meaning the brush is going to be copying information from all these other layers within your frequency separation and painting them in the low frequency let me first of all show you what I mean by that. So this is the mistake or the second mistake most important to do when they're using the Mr. Brush tool. So with this option sample always stand on, it means that the brush is also going to be 
painting textures in our low frequency like you can see that it has added this kind of rough texture within our low frequency layer, which we don't want to happen to the image so make sure as you're using the mr brush tool you have really unchecked the option which says sample all layers and by this you can now only work with the brush that is going to blend or mix colors alone in this very image you can see that this is very natural and we are still retaining the original skin details within uh, the image so let me show you mistake number three and mistake number three is going to be moving your brush strokes in a direction that you're not meant to move it so for example if at all it comes to a nose area you always have to move your mixer brush tool in this kind of direction and up down kind of uh, direction so if at all you're using the mixer brush tool and you are not moving it in this kind of direction you can see that you always have to move the mixer brush tool in this kind of direction or the direction the way an area is shaped so basically you can see that if at all i move my mixer brush tool in an opposite direction you can see what it is going to do to the nose and it is going to make the nose look weird and very flat and it is going to lose out on the details or the original shape that was meant to be in the nose area so the right way to do this is moving the missile brush tool in the direction of that or the way an area is shaped and you can still see and maintain the original shape in that kind of area so the other which is more of a bonus always retouch at a distance that is what i always tell you then also while using the missile brush tool turn off the texture layer so that you can see the colors in real time and you try mixing uh, those and even skin tone transitions quite well because in this way you can see them better in the image and the other thing that you have to take into consideration when using the mr brush tool always turn off the caps lock key so you can always click the caps lock button to get back the brush in its original shape or format then also retouch at a distance because when you retouch when you are zoomed all the way in you won't be seeing the uneven skin tone inconsistencies within the image so that is more of a bonus for you and as you're using the missile brush tool always make sure you play around with different sizes of the missile brush tool depending on an area that you're trying to work on so if i told you you're working for example on the highlights make sure the brush is going to remain within the borders of the highlights and you keep within those borders or areas so basically i've just tried to highlight the three common mistakes when it comes to using the missile brush tool when you're using frequency separation in photoshop and if at all you have found the video helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating